We're going to John Mayer concert. Yay! Yay! But uh, really excited about this concert, right? Because it's uh, I've been a big John Mayer fan for quite a while, and I think I have never seen him live, so it's gonna be awesome. And um, I think music in general is just amazing because it's good. You know, I think it's all about balance. You got to stretch yourself. You know, we're into different things and stuff like that. Music's not my day job. I wish it was, right? But it's not. And so it's just a great outlet for me. And um, always has been my whole life. And uh, I wanted to start bringing Megan to these uh, shows. Because <laughs> it's good exposure, right? It gives a good balance. And, um, you know, gives us something to do. All right? So we're making our way to the venue. Honestly, I, I don't really know that much about John Mayer. All I know is that it's going to be like really different from the BTS concert. And this is my second concert. Kind of going in blind, but you know, I'm excited. <laughs> we're kind of doing this for him. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's for her. For her. Okay, it's for both of us. <laughs> when the tickets went on sale, my dad was like, okay, I took you to a BTS concert. Now you're going to have to come with me to John Mayer concert. And honestly, I'm not going to complain. I know that the John Mayer concert is definitely going to be a lot calmer because the audience, they're, the audience members are more mature and they're kind of older than BTS fans. So I know the concert is going to be a lot calmer. And I also know that John Mayer talks a lot in his concerts and that his songs are a lot less hype. But you know, it's okay. It's, it's going to be fun. So we're back at the car because we had to drop off a few of the VIP gifts. We're not sure how we got VIP tickets. But something happened and now we have VIP gifts and we're not complaining, but you know, <laughs> it's fun. If you got us a VIP package and upgraded us, thank you very much. <laughs> thank it was you. It a great surprise. <laughs> We're so close to the stage.
Let's go with those lights. Let's go with their lights. Their lights are better than your lights, sure. Who says I can't get stoned? Turn off the lights in the telephone. Used to know. So we just left the concert venue. Uh, we're in the parking lot waiting to leave. It's super late. It's like 11.30ish. <laughs> Everything in the concert was super delayed though. Like the opening act came out half an hour later than they were supposed to. And then John Mayer came out 15 minutes later than he was supposed to. I want to say that this concert was different from other concerts and that's very unique. But I've only been to one other concert so I can't really say that. So it's the next day. We got home really late last night. But I just wanted to show really quickly what was in the VIP package that we got. So we got a bunch of cool merchandise. We got this really fancy poster. It's really thick. It's not like regular poster paper. And we also got some guitar picks. Right here. John Mayer. And then we got this VIP ticket thing. I'm not sure what it's for, but it looks nice. It's pretty. And we also got um, a CD of his newest album. Then we got this really cool tote bag and we also got a bandana. It's kind of small, you can't tie it around your head, but I just tied it around my wrist. This was my first concert where people were actually, you know, playing instruments and it was really cool, it was really fun. I'm so happy that my dad wanted me to come with him. It was a new experience, I had fun, my dad had fun, and I hope that we'll get to go to more concerts together in the future. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Wait. Seems like a normal clip, right? Look again. Super tall person that was two rows in front of me, I understand that you want a nice shot of the stage, but please be more courteous to shorter audience members like myself. You're already super tall and I, just like you, want a good shot of John Mayer. Oh, you need me to repeat myself? No problem. Put your goddamn phone down, you little piece of sh